The collection of the Kufo gallons in households drew our attention to the severe water challenge in Totibo. We were told the farming community, about six kilometers from Akosombo in the Sujaman district of the eastern region, lack access to potable water. The predominantly peasant farmers here depend on streams and ground wells for their water source. Boreholes constructed for the community are not functioning. The water, we were told, contained iron, making it difficult to use. Whilst attempting to understand the water situation in the community, we saw this young lady heading to the ground well, and so we followed her. We caught up with her here under a palm tree, filling her gallons. And what you are seeing here is one of two of the water sources for the community. The second had already dried up. Joyce Ofori completed filling her gallons, which she would carry home one after the other. She tells us the water appreciates every morning, but can dry up also during the dry season. So, how does the community survive when the two sources are both dried up? Hmm, that one, the, it's a difficult. Our place here, before we will find the water, we have to search for it. If like our mothers, they are going to the market, if it's a market day, and we, then, then we will take the gallons and give it to them and then they will fetch it. Confucius Joseph Nate, a Totibo community elder, recounted some of the ordeals the community members go through to get water. We really have water problem here and it affects the children's education because when they wake up in the morning, they struggle for water. And the borehole, whatever water they get under the ground, we can't use it, it doesn't lather that soap well. We caught up with the assemblyman for the Pumpuni electoral area Joseph Ayamdo and asked what the assembly is doing about the situation. If you say you went there and you saw that there was a problem with water, it's true, my brother. I've made all the necessary efforts to get my purple water, but unfortunately, it's not forthcoming. Every year, I keep on repeating that the people of Totobo should be provided with water. But anytime we come and we talk and go, you will realize the following year is the same thing. Nothing has been done about it. The lack of water, we were told, is one of the reasons why teachers posted to the Totibo DA Basic School reside outside the community. 